the TPP uh, began uh, really through uh, activities during 2019, such as the HLP report, um, the, the CIRAD, CGAIR um, um, program on, on agroecology um, and the Global Commission on a Adaptation um, uh, report on uh, agroecology contributing to resilience of, of agriculture. And we look at this slide from uh, uh, the center outwards because the activity of the TPP is in the various uh, landscapes, uh, farms, the places uh, where agroecology is happening, and then um, um, the uh, global research and um, uh, advocacy system supports that work on the ground. Next slide. So very simply, what the uh, TPP is all about is addressing knowledge and implementation gaps that constrain the wide-scale uptake of agroecological agro transitions. Next slide. And those three words are important. The idea is to be transformative, not just to do research, um, um, but to make sure that things actually change on the ground. Secondly, it's a partnership. And that's really important because lots of people are working on agroecology. If we work together, um, then we're likely to make faster progress um, than if we're operating separately. And so a platform is what makes this all possible. And it uses this pattern oster bristle of working bottom up and top down at the same time to see what's feasible uh, with farmers on the ground um, uh, and food system, other food system actors, and um, to create the enabling environment and remove lock-ins um, that constrain uh, adoption. Next slide. So the governance of the TPP um, is threefold. There are three um, uh, donor countries at the moment, that's well, France, Switzerland, um, and the European Union. There are three research providers, that's C4 ICRAF, the French research institutions, and um, uh, the one CGIR. There is then um, three um, civil society farmer organizations, the Alliance for Food Sovereignty in Africa, um, the Asian Farmers Association, and uh, the Latin American representative of the Indigenous Partnership. Next slide. And supporting uh, uh, the, the work in an advisory role um, is an advisory group, which currently consists of um, uh, people mainly from UN organizations, from UNEP, um, FAO, um, uh, IFAD, um, but also Biovision uh, and TMG. Next slide. Through 2020 and, and 2021 up to September, where um, the coalition for um, transforming food systems through agroecology came into being, um, there was a huge amount of activity in getting um, projects and, and um, modes of working together um, on the table. Um, and it was very successful with nearly 150 million worth of, of project funding around um, key uh, gaps that have been identified by um, this collective that is uh, the TPP. And these are projects which are practical, focused and um, with partners uh, on the ground in different countries. Next. So at UNFSS, at the last moment, really, um, the group of Friends of Agroecology, which are uh, countries, um, uh, member countries uh, um, of um, uh, FAO, made a, a, a strong uh, um, letter to the um, UN suggesting that agroecology should be on uh, the uh, radar of UNFSS. In the pre-summit, um, an agroecology session was set up uh, after lunchtime, it was one of the best attended uh, sessions of, of the summit, and it led to the development with the support of the Transformative Partnership Platform of uh, the coalition. Next slide. And the important thing about the coalition is it's a coalition of the willing. 
And a lot of you may have noticed that the recommendations in the HLP report got quite watered down from uh, the, the uh, uh, original uh, when it came to the policy convergence process. So we're hoping by uh, those countries that get together, and there's nearly 40 that have already joined, including, including the European Union, the African Union, and ECOWAS, um, and uh, over 60 organizations, so it's already a coalition of 100, that by having uh, some common ground, we'll be able to make faster progress on action. And that's what we're interested, as far as the coalition is concerned, is making action on the ground. Next slide. And there are five working groups. And the one that the TPP is most closely associated with is the Research and Innovation Working Group, which of course itself then interacts with the others. Next slide. Of course, the TPP operates on the basis of the 13 HLP principles as setting out what agroecology is all about, but it doesn't just follow the classic Gleesman uh, transition, because next slide, we realize that there are multiple transitions, click again, um, that uh, start from different places um, and follow different trajectories according uh, to context, click again, and once we bring the consumers as well as the producers into the picture, then agency uh, of people throughout the food system to, to have really democratic food systems becomes a really significant uh, element. Next slide. And there are eight working domains that have been identified for immediate progress within uh, the TPP. And you'll hear more about uh, what's going on in some of those from Lisa later on. And with that, um, I uh, hope that you've got, uh, you probably all already knew most of that, but that's what the TPP, uh, how the TPP came about and what its key focus is.